to RBP or not to RBP? That is the question of the day. RBP stands for reference based and by the time this video is over, you will know if this is an option you should consider or maybe not. Many employers today are looking for ways to cut their health insurance costs and many have heard about reference-based pricing. A lot of employers, the number one and two things I hear are providers won't take a reference-based plan, not always accurate, and two, my employees are going to get sued over a balance bill. Also not always accurate, but something to look out for. So I'll answer those questions today. We help employers add control and predictability back into their healthcare spend. And the happy side effect of that is less out of pocket and better quality benefits for their employees. Hi, my name is Allison DePauli and I started Altik Consulting to help employers get out of the healthcare craziness every year and back to running their businesses. My clients do not hear, well, we negotiated a less bad renewal. My clients hear instead, your employee had access to the highest quality care available and this is exactly how much it cost and how much you paid for it. So if that interests you, hit the subscribe button below and I'll show you all how I do it. Benefits are never just about benefits. They're about employee engagement, recruitment, retention, um, cost containment. Okay, those are all competing interests in a health insurance plan. And sometimes they compete pretty aggressively with each other. We build plans every day that fuse those two values together. One of the things that always surprises people who don't live in this health insurance world that I live in is that the highest quality care typically is in the bottom quartile of cost. Now most people don't have any way to access that information, but we do, and we drive to highest quality care for two reasons. One, it's just the right thing to do. Two, it costs less. And three, it helps you contain the costs in your plan. So reference-based pricing is one of the tools that we use. We don't use it everywhere. It's not right for everybody. Like most things, no one tool works for every employer but it might be something that you want to consider. So let's talk about it. What is RBP? At its core, RBP is just a way to pay a bill, okay? Not any different than negotiating for office supplies or leases or furniture or any of your costs of goods sold, okay? There are some happy side effects. It eliminates the network. So no longer is a network a relevant portion of your plan. Your employee can seek the highest quality care. So let's say your employee goes to a physician and they need a back surgery. They can be referred to who the provider thinks the highest quality provider is. We're gonna double check it just so you know. We do that. And the price can be negotiated up front. Generally, we have the least difficult time negotiating with the highest quality providers. It just happens that way. So the happy side effect there is that you get to steer your employees to the highest quality plan. Uh, number two, one of the over... Back up, we're going back to point one. What is RBP? At its core, Reference-based pricing is just another way to pay claims. Just like you would negotiate for office supplies, leases, furniture, all your cost of goods sold, your manufacturing inputs, it's the same idea. It's just called reference-based pricing. So one, it eliminates your network and it allows you, your third-party administrator, actually not you in your office, to steer your employee to the highest quality care and to negotiate the price ahead of time. I'm not sure if you've ever looked at your claims, but if you're a, a mid to larger size employer and let's say you have two or three knee replacements in a year, that wouldn't be too unusual. One probably costs $40,000, one $48,000 and another $62,000. That wouldn't be too unusual. Well, why is that? Because everybody's charging a different price and a different place. So you can control some of that. You can say, well, if Medicare is reimbursing X, we are going to reimburse Y. That is at its core what reference-based pricing is. The reference point 
is what Medicare pays for a particular service. One point number two, one of the overlooked benefits of reference-based pricing is the ability to steer your employees to the highest quality care. If someone needs a surgical procedure, they have a knee issue, they've had a they have a cancer diagnosis, they have a back issue, they have an ongoing chronic condition. Wouldn't you want them to receive the highest quality care? They're in your employee, they're helping you run your business. You need employees to be productive and healthy. Help them be productive and healthy. Really one of the overlooked side effects is the ability to steer to the highest quality care. And you know what? Most people don't realize that the highest quality care is typically in the bottom quartile of cost. So that 40, 48, $62,000 knee replacement, you would know that it's going to cost you, and I'm just making up an example, $36,000. So your two knee replacements or your three knee replacements are going to be $36,000 each and they are going to be done by the highest quality provider in your in the geographic area that you stipulate. Okay? Now, I don't know that many of you know this, but Walmart does this. They look at quality of the service first. They have backed into that is the lowest quality price and they send their employees to centers of excellence for every procedure that they have. So there are about six places in the United States where they send their knee replacement patients. San Antonio, where I live, is one of those places. So from an entire geographic area in the United States, out west, they probably, they send their knee replacements to San Antonio. They have negotiated a fixed cost with an extremely high quality provider, and they have also negotiated the fees with the um, facility. They have somebody pick the patient and their companion up at the airport. They take care of the companion's needs for the few days that they're here, and then both of them go home together. It is an incredibly cost-effective problem um, solution, both from a cost, which is important. You know, Walmart has a very, very thin margin. They need all their profit dollars they can and it's the right thing to do for their employees. Their employees receive high quality care in an environment that is designed to make sure that the procedure goes well and can manage anything that doesn't. Okay, so how do you set up an RBP plan? First, you just adjust your summary plan description, SPD. Every health plan has one if you're self-insured. Um, to the level of reimbursement that you want. Typically, a reference-based pricing plan should be set in the beginning to 175 to 225% of Medicare. As you get more comfortable and as your providers get more comfortable with you, you might be able to ratchet that down some. I would caution you about setting that at 120, 130, 140% of Medicare. You will have a fair number of providers that push back, okay? So let's do that and then you need somebody to administer your plan. In the meantime, I've posted some links below that talk about um, calculating savings and how you can help employees use reference-based pricing. There are some communication needs um, that need to be satisfied. You need to make sure your employees understand how to use it. Links below. Okay, so we are asked quite frequently about balance bills. You know what you don't know is that many employees, even if they're fully insured with the big, the BUCAs, the big carriers, Blue Cross, United, Cigna, Aetna, Humana, if you're in Texas, um, they still get a balance bill if they are out of network. I have a client that accidentally went to an out of network uh, facility and she has a balance bill for $11,000 and she's on a fully insured plan. So it happens anyway, okay? And there's very little recourse depending on what state you're in when that happens. So it's really important that you communicate to your employee what to do when they need to have a procedure. There are great tools to help with that and your um, plan administrator can be incredibly helpful with that as, as well. There are great tools to reach out and to provide some guardrails. Um, how do I know how much we'll save? I hear that a lot too and I can certainly understand that. Uh, you need to have your claims repriced. So that is something that's relatively new and uh, um, most employers don't even know that that's possible. What do you mean? I'm going to get my claims and give them to you and you're going to tell me what I should pay? Yes, 
That is exactly what I mean. So we use tools to analyze your current claims and give you some options as to what you should pay. So let's say that you have $500,000 worth of claims. We're going to reprice those at probably 150, 175, 200% of Medicare. So you can see what, what you should actually be paying for different kinds of services and how that will stabilize your costs. So what's the best thing about reference-based pricing? When implemented effectively, you are not only saving plan dollars, which is important because you need to get back running your business and not be worrying about this health insurance craziness. You can also steer your employees to the highest quality care. I work with a lot of employers and let's be real, dollars are important. It is not the number one concern that I hear. The number one concern that I hear is our employees don't have access to good care and they pay too much for it. Reference-based pricing can be a tool for you to both lower your costs, their costs, and get them access to, to um, quality care. If you wanna talk more about that, if that interests you, click the link below and let's see if we're a good fit. Thanks, bye-bye.